One Piece chapter 815 review. This chapter was hype. A lot happened in this chapter. Uh, the main thing I want to talk about is Rizo, of course. It was revealed that, that Rizo had been on Zo this entire time. And apparently there was some kind of relationship between the people of Zo and the people of Wano because they referred to him as Rizo Dono. And from what I understand, Dono is a term used for people that deserve incredible respect. And there are a lot of great moments in this chapter, mostly from uh, Nekomomoshi. Yes, I believe it was Nekomomoshi who said, and I quote, Even if it met our in this country's demise, we would never sell out a friend to the enemy. Love that. Love that quote. Uh, also, just, we also got a flashback to uh, a very gory scene of Nekomomoshi and the other and the other guys, I forgot his name, arm and leg getting cut off while they were tied to the crucifix by Jack. That was very interesting to me. I mean, I didn't think Odo would ever show that, but he did. And, I mean, overall, it's a good chapter. I mean, not... It also really makes me reconsider where we're going. I expected this chapter we would leave and go after Sanji. That's not the case. It appeared we're going somewhere even more. Also, the panel where, where uh, Nekomushi and all the names bow to Kinemon are like, Raizo, don't know, it's fine, it's beautiful. The panel is beautiful, and the fact that even Zoro is like, Wait, what the hell? Like, what the actual what? The fact that Zoro, even Zoro, had the look of shock on his face. It's really good. Zoro doesn't get freaked out and shot. Zoro doesn't do that. So that was nice. I mean, it was a very interesting chapter. I mean, it really does make me reconsider. I mean, now I'm thinking... I knew, I, I've been going back and forth between Kaido and Big Mom. I still think we're Big Mom will be the next villain. But I feel like something is being built up here. It's also changed a lot of my opinion of what was going to happen. Like, when Kitty Moan came out and started saying, I am Kitty Moan of Wano, I was like, what the hell was this idiot doing? Nami just told him to shut his hole. And he kept he on talking, and apparently, then Yakamushi, of course, comes out and, like, rides over the stage. But it's just... I mean, it was decent, I mean... We got to see, uh, Momonosuke, who was not in his room. He was in the woods. I'm not really sure why. No, legitimately, if, if, if there's any reason I'm just forgetting about, please tell me. Because last time I checked, wasn't Momonosuke supposed to be in his room? I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But last time I checked, he was supposed to be in his room. I don't know why he wasn't. That kind of bothered me, but whatever. But I mean, it was one of those chapters where not a lot happened, but the things that did happen are very important. Like, there were two major, there were only two real things that happened in this chapter. Which was Kenny, which was the only real one, the Rizer reveal. That was like the one thing that happened in this chapter. Everything else was just, you know, thing, was just the progression to that reveal. If I wanted to rate the chapter, I would give it a ten, out, a, a nine out of ten. And yeah, I think it's a nine out of ten. Not the great, it's not the greatest chapter, but it's really good. It's a great twist. It blew me away in my reaction. You can go watch my live, my live reaction to see that. But it also kind of made me look at look at look at it a little bit like, what the hell is this? It's a little weird, but. It's good. I mean, it was a good episode. And if I would give it a 9 out of 10, I think that's a reasonable thing. To re As I said, the main group, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. If you could, besides the Rizo reveal, nothing really happened. So, yeah. And we got no updates on Sanji, unfortunately. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed my review and just little thoughts. And my thoughts on One Big Chapter 815. Please like. Comment and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.